up in the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's a it's a dog. Is that crypto? Hey everyone, this is Digital Charcuterie. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate you here. This weekend is New York City Comic Con. NYCC on the hashtag. And Creature Commandos, the DCU had a panel in. James Gunn, of course, decided he needed to speak at this panel. And now I've decided I want to speak about James Gunn speaking about his DCU. The new DCU. Get out of here, DCU. Or are you out of here? That has been a point of contention for a lot of fans. No one really understands what is canon, what isn't canon. Are they redoing the entire thing? And he's kind of been wishy-washing on what he said about it. And now we kind of got more of a frank answer on how the new DCU will handle the events of the DCEU. And that is to say that if an event or character is referenced at all, then that movie is canon. That's it. So Amanda Waller, you're in Creature Commandos, which by the way, drops December 5th. And they showed this trailer. And this looks really cool. I, I, You know what? It's an animated show. It's going to run from December to, to I think, mid-January. And it looks like a lot of fun. Obviously, it's not Suicide Squad. If you've seen Peacemaker Season 1, there's going to be a fallout with Amanda Waller. And now she can't use human soldiers anymore. She has to use creatures. What in the holy hell? Congress said we can't use human prisoners. So now they're using creature commandos. We got the whole roll call here. And Rick Flagg Sr., who I'll get to in just a a second, but because of James Gunn's reference of anything mentioned is now canon in the DCU, Amanda Waller would make that the Suicide Squad is canon, as well as Suicide Squad is also canon. Hashtag at least the air cut for all of you that want that. I don't know why you want to do it now. If you're going to make that canon, just give us the whole shebang. Why not? Do it. On top of that, Peacemaker Season 1, James Gunn's kind of a wishy-washy on what is canon, what's not canon. Obviously, the Justice League wouldn't be canon anymore, but Amanda Waller would, so I think there's going to be some kind of divide there where we're going to find out when things took a split. I don't know what it's going to be or how they're going to use that or if they're going to even bother letting us know. They might just do the show and just ignore the Justice League cameo at the end of season one because everything else kind of fits in. They are shooting Peacemaker season two right now. It is going exceptionally well, says James Gunn, exceptionally well. He says that John Cena, as great as John Cena was in Peacemaker season one. Eat peace, mother. He's actually a way better actor in Peacemaker season two. And he's never seen an actor take strides like this in his career. Apparently, like apparently John Cena is just absolutely crushing Peacemaker. He was born for this role. Like he's so good and he was great in the movie and in the TV show just elevated his, his performance and the character to other levels. And he just like you took a L list character. It's like L is that, like, it was, is that still too high for Peacemaker? Like an L list character. And you made him an A-lister or a B-lister at, at the very least. Like you brought him into the mainstream. People, when you say Peacemaker, now people know. I can't see where they take the character, where they take the direction of the show and what season two is going to be all about and how much it'll be involved in the DCU. Obviously with Rick Flagg Sr. coming in, I'd love to see that interaction between him and Peacemaker, knowing what Peacemaker did to Rick Flagg Jr. in the Suicide Squad. Really curious how their dynamic will play out. And also, Joel Kinnaman denied being involved in Peacemaker Season 2. There was a rumor going around a little while ago that he was going to be in it. He said, no, he wouldn't touch a show like that. Take that with a grain of salt. He could be playing coy. He could just be lying to for a nice misdirect. If you're going to misdirect, that is a nice phrasing to use. So look for Joel Kinnaman, Rick Flagg Jr. in Peacemaker Season 2. Maybe a flashback. Maybe it's just a flashback. Maybe it's archival footage from the Suicide Squad movie that we see. Or maybe nothing. Maybe there's just water under the bridge and they don't reference Rick Flagg Jr. But Rick Flagg Sr. having a big role in the DCU. I almost get the sense that Frank Grillo's Rick Flagg Sr. will be the Nick Fury of the DCU. He's going to be appearing, obviously, in Creature Commandos. He'll also be appearing in Peacemaker 2, as I said, and Superman Don't Say Legacy. He's going to have a role in that as well. He talked a little bit on a podcast about the acting with David Cornsweet in his part. Nothing was said there. Just, you know, everyone seems to be glowing about this Superman movie. We'll get to that in just a minute. Back to Creature Commandos. He also said that there are other actors in this. Maybe it's David Harbour, Alan Tudyk, Maria Bakalova, Sean Gunn, Zoe Chow, Steve Agee, Idira Varma, Anya Charlotra. One of them, or all of them, are going to also have appearances in other parts of the DCU. And he said that could be coming very soon. What very soon means, I don't know, because it's Creature Commandos and then Superman. So... Take your pick. I guess it's got to be Superman. But right after Superman is Supergirl. And he touched on Supergirl 
Uh, just a little bit. He said it's going to be very dark and Supergirl is going to be very, very messed up. He said the pitch for the movie was one of the best he ever heard. And the first draft of the script was fantastic. And with each draft, it actually got better and better. He's very excited to see that movie get going. And production begins on that in January, which is very exciting. It's all based on Tom King, Supergirl, Woman of Tomorrow, which is fantastic. I'll probably do a video on that another time. Uh, I can't wait to see what they're going to do with that. This is not your 80s Supergirl. And now we move on to Superman Don't Say Legacy. This is what everyone is here for, right? This is what you want to talk about. This is what the unofficial official beginning of the DCU, I should say. Because Creature Commandos is the official start to the DCU. But as James Gunn said, Superman is actually the beginning. It is the heart of the DCU, which it says a lot right there that it's the heart of the DCU, that Superman is the heart of the DCU. He is really separating this from the Henry Cavill iteration of Superman, for better or worse. I love that iteration, to be honest. I loved Henry Cavill, Superman, and all those movies. I'm super excited to see what James Gunn's going to do. I love the Suicide Squad, like I said, so I have all the faith in the world on what he'll bring to this character. Bringing in crypto is such a unique choice that, you know, I did a video on is it dividing fans, and it could possibly divide fans. He also said that crypto was a big part and one of his favorite parts of this movie because of what it meant to him personally on the journey of making this with his own dog and whatnot. So there's that there. I think Crypto might actually be the heart of the Superman movie. So Superman, the heart of the DCU. Crypto, the heart of the Superman movie. I'm really, I like what he did with obviously Rocket Raccoon and Groot and King Shark. I'm really curious what he can do with a non-talking, non-human talking dog. He's going to bark a lot and obviously fly around. It's going to be a lot of fun. And how much he's going to actually be involved in the story as well. He might just be there as a companion for for Clark, aka Cal L, aka Superman. He might just be that, right? He might just be a little side character that he goes to when he's feeling down and whatnot. He also spoke a little bit about Rachel Brosnahan's Lois Lane saying people are going to be absolutely thrilled by her performance. And I wouldn't doubt it. Mrs. Maisel, she crushed every season of that. Whatever you thought of the last season, she absolutely crushed every single part of that. And when her name was in the ring, I was I was excited. You can watch. I did a video on it last year. I was stoked. I thought she was going to be fantastic. I think she looks like Lois Lane. I think she has the capabilities of performing as Lois Lane. She's tough. She's hard-hitting. And uh, she's no-nonsense kind of gal. And that's what Lois Lane's got to be. And I'm really excited to see this version of Lois Lane. The behind-the-scenes stuff, it doesn't tell you much. She's wearing purple. Looks good. Fine. And then he went on to David Cornsweet's Superman. And what he had to say about this was that David Cornsweet is phenomenal in it. It's not just the physicality. It's not just the looks. He's bringing the pure acting to the role. He's, he's basically saying, I'm going to paraphrase everything here. But he's basically said that he's never seen a Superman quite like this. He's fulfilling him in every sense of the word, and he's gonna blow people the f away. That is exactly what he says. We said corn sweat is gonna blow people the f away. That is a big deal. This is the beginning of the DCU. This is the beginning of an entire film franchise that's going to span over a decade long. They need you to want to watch these movies. They need you to reel it in. So Creature Commandos is a little animated film. Comes out on Max. You watch it. It's fine. You're like, oh, that was enjoyable. But you can probably forget about it. And then when characters show up, you're like, oh, yeah, that's what that cartoon thing. That's fine. This is the movie that needs to kick it off with a bang. Everything about this movie has to be perfect or as close to perfect as possible because there's going to be a lot of doubters, a lot of people that have superhero fatigue, as they say. So how do you curb that? And how do you get people into the theater to watch Superman when, again, we're having another Superman after just having a Superman after just having Brendan Routh Superman? Like, we're getting so many Supermans that I think a lot of casual fans are a little bit irritated by seeing the turnaround. I know that was a feeling with Batman with a lot of casual fans I spoke to about Batman. They're like, how many Batmans are we going to have? And Superman's starting to get to that level, but we'll see if he's going to blow your brains out. Do it. That's, that is what you want to hear from James Gunn, TCU, hundo percent. Trailer is coming soon, but not too soon. Take that as you will. A lot of rumors are speculating December. That's a good time for a trailer, right? December, Christmas time. Let's go. It's a Superman trailer. I'd be down for it. I, too bad they didn't drop it now, but they did drop the Creature Commandos trailer, which looks absolutely phenomenal. Again, though, it's just it's a series, an animated series, probably like a side story to what's going on, but some of these characters are going to appear probably in Superman. Don't say legacy. We know Frank Grillo's Rick Flagg Sr. is. And I'm totally okay with that. Can't wait to see what they do with the DCU. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I read them all and I comment to them all. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. Give us a like and a subscribe. And until next time, may you be the master of your own universe.